Hi, it's Adam from Buzzy. I'm going to show you how to create a restaurant finder app using AI. We're going to break this little session into three phases. Phase one, we're going to use the AI. Phase two, we're going to pull it into Figma. Phase three, we're going to do a little bit of co-pilot AI coding. Let's see how we go. So I'm starting with a very simple prompt, create a restaurant app finder, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's go and create it. Um, this will send me an email. Once I've clicked the email, what's going to happen is we're going to take that prompt. The AI is going to turn that into a brief, which is like a mini spec. From there, it's going to turn it into a data table, which is the data structure for that application. And then we can take those two things, the brief and the data model, and put that and start generating all the screens. So it's going to get generate the base application. It takes about probably two and a half minutes for this app. Let's see how we go. Okay, so it took about two and a half minutes, almost three minutes. Let's go. This is going to open up in the Buzzy workspace. We can see that we've created 32 screens, 24 components, um, a whole bunch, there's three different data tables, 12 fields, and so on. Uh, you can use the AI to modify this application. Um, you could change things. We've actually got integration with Adobe Express, so you could change things like the design imagery without using AI. You could even use their AI generator to generate new images or their templates and, and stock photos, which are awesome. Um, this is the application, and if I look at it, uh, let's click on the Sizzle Steakhouse. Uh, we'll see over here. It should bring up. Uh, so there's Sizzle Steakhouse. Uh, that's what's on the menu, um, and it's got some CRUD screens over here. That's a great starting point. Now we can use the AI to tweak it and make changes, change the data model, and so on. But for the purpose of this, we'll just leave that as our phase one goal achieved. Now we could even share this with users and allow them to interact with it and get some initial feedback really, really quickly. And the more iterations you do, the better things are going to be. So the next step um, that we want to do is we want to go into the Buzzy workspace. Let's just move this over here a bit. And we can see that we've got our brief that was created. Uh, we've got our data structure. Uh, this is where all the data is stored. So there's a full database working behind the scenes. So if we look at that Sizzle Steakhouse, we'll see all the information over here, including things like the location fields. Again, we've generated some sample data, uh, and then those are the items that are on that menu for that particular restaurant. So it's all dynamic, and, and you could add them either through the user interface or through the backend CMS. So let's go into the design, and let's say we want to make some changes. So we could make visual changes using Figma. Uh, we're going to open the uh, Buzzy AI Toolkit, uh, which will open the file in Figma. And what we're going to do is we're going to import that application that we just created with AI into uh, the Figma file. Now, there's some good instructions over here, and there's all sorts of cool stuff. Like if you, uh, you, can, you can go and change uh, you know, the themes um, in the Figma file. Let's go over here, uh, and, and uh, let's move this out the way. Move that over there. So let's, uh, there's some inspiration screens that have been created with the toolkit. So cool things like dashboards, um, you know, landing pages, uh, things like project applications. Uh, here's even a movie database and, and some other cool stuff. These are all made from the components in the AI toolkit. So we've got all the atoms, uh, molecules, and that. And again, we use a ton of things like all the different Figma variables. So you can swap between different themes and that and make these changes super, super quickly. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go to your app here, and we're going to run the Buzzy plugin. Um, this will allow us to import the application that we just created on the server into this Figma file um, in literally about a minute. So um, because I've got this open, I'm just going to swap into wizard mode, and we're going to go import um, an existing app. So that's the latest app that we just created. I'm going to click Continue and we're going to import the app. And what you'll see now is it's actually creating all those frames um, within the Figma file. So it's doing that on the fly. And speaking to a designer recently, I said, you know, how much time does this save you? And he goes, yeah, probably 30, 40 hours at least to be able to just do this bit, what you've literally done in a, in, in a few minutes. So f moving uh, forward, we're going to continue over here, and we'll just go straight into edit the app. Uh, let's exit the wizard. Now, what we want to do is we want to add a map onto this home page that's going to list the restaurants and show them on a map. So this is going to traverse into phase three, which is assuming that you've got a developer or some development help to be able to add that as what we call a buzzy code widget. So let's have a look at um, how we do that. 
So I'm going to uh, grab one of the, you could always build this from scratch. So I'm just going to type over here map. Uh, we've got a little map widget. Um, I'm going to drag that in here and we'll just put that in there. Let's have a look at that. Um, uh, let's go back to the layers. Um, and I actually want to put um, that above the interest under section content. There we go. And because this component's already been configured with things like auto layout and, and, and things like that, uh, we can just, well, let's just check what's inside here. So we've got, um, there's the map view. Um, we're going to uh, set the, um, we're going to just fill container with that width. Um, this is the repeating item in here. So that's, that's filling, that, that looks good. And this is where our map goes. So um, the background image is inside there. That's the placeholder. Um, what we want to do is we want to mark this up and we want to tell it that it needs to be related to a code widget, which is then going to go and query the items in the database and display them on the map. And there's a few little steps over here. So the first item is I want to create a new helper widget that I'm going to put it in its own little data table called map. And I'm going to give it a, um, a name over here called restaurants. And we're going to give it a type over here of code widget. So this is a little widget on the screen that I can put custom code in. They can use the buzzy API. And there's a little uh, gotcha over there. We need to fix that bug. But if you go back, we can now see we've got the map. So just toggling between those frames fixes that. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to hook this file up to the app that we created on the server because we've just pulled this down from the Figma community and didn't know anything about it. We just need to tell it about it. So let's um, let's type in over here. I've forgotten the name of it. Let's go back in here. Uh, Buzzy Dine Finder. Uh, we can always change that map. And by the way, you could use the AI to say, hey, change the app name. Um, so let's look over here. So we will just call this Buzzy Dine. Oops. Oh, wait, let's click over here. Oh, sorry, I've got this one. Uh, buzzy Dine. Oops. Dine Finder. Uh, that was it. And then you can click Update to select it out. Now, the first time in as well, you just need to copy the link over here for the uh, file. There's instructions down below, so it's pretty easy. Um, let's paste that in there. We'll just click Continue. So the first time in, this is going to... Actually, oh, that's a little... I must have pasted something incorrectly there. Um, the first time in, this is going to go through the entire file and attach this file and then publish it up to the server. So any design changes that we've made to the data model, to the, um, to the uh, you know, structure of the, the app, adding screens and, and so on, um, will be changed and updated to the server. So again, if we've changed the theme or you know, swapped the theme from light to dark or changed any of the components, all those changes will be applied to the application on the server. Cool, so let's have a look at it. Um, so we're gonna have a look here. And we should see it with our map. All works well. Uh, there's our placeholder map. Now at the moment, that's just a placeholder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and mark up that file in Figma, and we're gonna tell it it needs to use the code widget. So uh, let's go over here. So the first thing over here, now a view, we're going to map this to a component called a view. View is like a query. So it's going to query items. In this example, it's just going to query the map little helper database and it's going to show the results. And that's all we really have to configure. Um, the, we're going to make this so if you've got a view, each of the items is called what we call a repeating item or like a row in the data table. So that's the repeating item. And then we want to display the actual map. So this is going to map to a field which exists in the map data table and it's called restaurants and it's a code widget. And its mode is going to be summary mode and that's it. So we're going to publish and I'm just going to hit the update screen. That's a lot faster than publishing the whole app and we'll see that. Now we're not going to see much because there's really nothing in that code widget yet. So if I come back to the screen over here and let's just refresh that, it will probably uh, uh, make, that, make that blank. So let's have a look over here. So there we are. Yeah, it's not actually there. So let's go and make some changes. Um, so we're going to go into the workspace um, and let's go to the data table. 
So the first thing over here is, if you remember, when we created this little helper um, data table, it's actually looking for a row. So all we really need to add over here is one row, and I'm going to submit that. It's just an empty row. All that's got on it is, is a map, um, is a code widget. If we come in here and we just refresh this, um, it's a Now we can see that there's like actually a blank space over here, which is where that code for the map is, is going to go. Now let's go back to Figma. And oh, oh, actually, you know what we're going to do is instead of going to Figma, we're going to go into the workspace and we're going to go to the definition of that field. And we're going to see over here, I don't know why there's two. Uh, and I'm going to put in, um, code. so we see open street maps that ren renders restaurants in the bounding box of a map. Um, so we'll generate with AI. Now this this will take a bit of time to be able to do this, but it will generate you the, the starting bit of this code. You can write this code from scratch. Uh, this is just super fast in the way this works. Okay, so a bunch of code over here has been generated. Um, I, I did some tweaking to this. So when, for example, like when you open up something, this idea over here is not actually right. I'll, I'll talk to you about that in, in, in very shortly. But what it's doing is it's going and fetching the data out of the buzzy data tables and then getting its location data and then putting that up onto a map. So pretty simple in concept. Um, again, you can write this code over here by, by hand. Um, let's have a look over here and we'll just refresh this and see how it's going to go. Okay. Oh, there we go. So th there's an item. Um, there's actually a restaurant, the Sizzle Steakhouse, which is on on that uh, which is on that map over there. So again, you can configure this code over here. I'm not going to get into the details, but um, you can configure that detail, and you could show all the restaurants in here. Again, it comes down to um, you know the default settings and how you want this this code to behave. So it's pretty easy to be able to again. This is in phase three. This is development. So phase one was we generated the, app, the base application with AI. Phase two is we made some customization with Figma. So anyone with good Figma skills can do all sorts of awesome stuff in there, make it look beautiful, add screens, remove fields, add fields, forms, etc. And then if needed, you can customize these coding widgets at the front end. And we also have a way for you to call REST APIs to integrate with external services and that to be able to build awesome solutions. So again, this was just a very quick demo. Um, I think my final time over here is I've probably gone from start to finish in about just under 20 minutes. Um, I will shorten this down for you, but um, love to see what you create out there. Go for it. Um, that's just a simple example. Thanks for watching.